do you think it's easy to sell at? You've got no fucking idea. You and your condescending ilk who's never once tried. No one's ventured beyond your keyboard in the arena. Gone amongst him, into the moles. The you fix it emporiums, the county affairs and video game galleries. Communed with the little people. By the way, not so little. Double waist stretch pads and bulging stomachs strolling through the food court. Kathump, kathump, followed by a flock of cabbage patch kids. That's what Alan and I did. Town to town. Motel food and orange carpets. Sat in the multiplexes. Take their reactions. Talk to them. The Harley Davidson dads and the opera moms and the sullen teenagers listened to the fantasies and ten cent dreams. That was Alan's gift. He was a saint. People loved him. He would make them laugh, confide, sharing dirty jokes and confidences, thinking he was one of them, not for a second imagining they were bearing their souls to a bleeding ponytail faggot with an architecture degree. Alan had the gay chameleon thing down. He could be whatever you wanted him to be. Every night in his motel room, copying notes and ideas, bouncing them to the next bunch in the next town. Back in his office, with his shots and analysis. I ask him, is this what you want, Alan? Make movies for 14 year olds? Not just any 14 year olds, dumb 14 year olds. And that was exactly what we did. And by God, we were successful, three, one, hundred million box office hits. Visionaries we were, the golden boys, showmen of the year. Recycled TV shows. At sex and special effects. Make them think it's irreverent. The curling machine that prays every night. Bikini under cover girls. The dancing mafia queen. Then Alan died. No warning. No plan B. He's gone. So it's my chance. A. Thomas Bing Production. I'll show them. Either whispers. 181 Resolution. Revive the old Hollywood important subject film. Dive into the heart of controversy. Win some awards. Hire the best writers for your peer art film cameraman brought into the crapper stinks bill. Enough to make a Jewish viewer cringe. So it 
didn't work. No problem. Back to the old formula. Dig out Alan's notes. Listen to his tapes. Hire young writers straight out of puberty. Flop spill again. We are moving along in life. Cruising down. The highway, no care, no worry. Be it super glad. Then you see a speck in your rear view mirror. No problem. It's a big road given space. Then soon it passes you. It's all right. Then another. You hear somebody's name and then they pass you. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All of a sudden, Bing has lost his touch. It's, this is a rough business. One day you reach out to, to scratch your ear and your head is gone. Studio wants to renegotiate. Small office, lower overhead. Okay, I, I will accept that. Get a hungry young partner. Movies need fresh eyes. Flop spill. Fourteen year olds got summer. Exit partner. Next stop. Cable TV. Uh, the best work is done in cable. Bullshit. Who runs cable? The same bean counters who run everything else. Twenty-year-old stoner keeps me waiting two hours. Hi, what do you, what have you been up to? The star? No. No. That was the executive. Ten years after Alan's death, they take out a full-page trade ad. Ask me if I want to contribute. No fucking thanks. <laughs>